Sonderborg, the town in southern Denmark, has an ambitious goal to be absolutely carbon-free in 2029. To reach this goal, the municipality has cooperated with several private companies, and inhabitants are backing up the initiative by applying more and more renewable resources in their daily life. Lifestyles is the story. Located on a small island of Els in southern Denmark, the town of Sonderborg has a population of 27,000. A few large companies like Danfoss and Siemens are located in this town, and its running areas for a common goal, Project Zero, which is aimed to lower this town's carbon emissions to around zero in 2029. The, the project or the vision was uh, was initiated by a, a local think tank who wanted to grow this area, and and、uh, for whom sustainability was a key issue. The, the vision later was was anchored、um, with we call it five funding parties or five funding fathers. It's the Danfoss Corporation,、uh, it's the municipality of Sonderborg, it's Dong Energy, the national energy company, it's the SE、uh, local utility company, and it's the biggest bank in Scandinavia, the Nordea Bank. So these are the the the, the five parties who who, who initiated. Initiated Project Zero and who still stand behind and and give us the financials to carry out、uh, what the Secretariat needs to do. To reach the goal of zero carbon in 2029, the project uses many different ways to reduce the energy consumption, such as district heating control in this housing area, where the old installations and hot water tanks have been removed from the cellars, and instead hot water pumps are just directly from the apartments, which save around 30 percent of the energy consumption and save money on the energy bill. This is the unit in in the dwelling. In each dwelling has such a unit for producing domestic hot water for the dwelling here in this heat exchanger. We have a thermostat here for keeping the pipes heated, prepared for domestic hot water uh, uh, consumption. And this is the heat meter, which count only the heat consumption in this dwelling. This is the whole community, not only municipality. Not only one private company, but it's all. And when we stick together, it makes something for the citizens or the inhabitants. And this means a lot that people can see this is going to take place in 2009, 29. And、uh, also in my in my own company, you could say the municipality, we don't we put a real a lot of、uh, money in investing that we do the right thing ourselves. If we build new buildings, of course. But also with the old buildings, and we save light, and we save save fuel. Of course, we do that. We we drive also in some electric cars. On the island else, where Sonneborg lies, you can find everywhere clues to how the goal of being a carbon-free area will be accomplished. Solar energy plants are popping up. The district energy plants are shifting from fossil fuel to waste incineration, and thermal heating, which uses hot water pumped up from 250 meters below the surface. Along with biomass plants, wind and solar energy, this will replace the old ways of producing heat and electricity. And some houses even produce their own energy. The house behind me basically looks like any other modern, very good-looking,、uh, very comfortable house. It has a very、uh, thick insulation all over the house, 50 centimeters, to lower the need for heat. It has a Heat pump, which takes the the energy out of the、uh, of of the ground, and and where's this energy coming from? It's coming from the roof where you see the solar panels. Together with this, we have all kind of modern,、uh, fancy technology to help the the family save energy. And of course, of course, all appliances being used in the house are in A plus plus class. And the family, by the way, have had two weeks of training on how to live in such a house. Along with the energy savings, the Project Zero has also set a goal to create more green jobs, which will eventually contribute to developing Sonneborg into a modern and attractive part of Denmark.
Do you have a target for how many green jobs you can create by 2029? Uh, we would like to create in this area here 5,000 uh, green jobs. Um, and the green jobs is not only in industry, it's also in, in uh, uh, plumbers and other craftsmen. Uh, so the green jobs is all over the school, uh, is also now uh, from kindergarten to PhD teaching in, in sustainability. So it's turning this whole area and the thinking of the area green. Another example of innovative energy thinking is Diamond, a newly built sports facility. Electricity comes from solar panels on the roof and a sophisticated ventilation system based on a completely new technique recycles the heat and ensures energy efficient cooling of the building. This saves energy by 30% compared to previously known ventilation systems while reducing carbon dioxide emissions by 25%. And even more, it sets an example of inspiration for the rest of the world. The world needs to be improved, energy, environmentally, and that's because of my kids, all the other kids that are growing up, not born yet.